Hi all. Just thought I'd do a demo of um, my AWOS machine. Um, I've got on it um, Paolo Besser's wonderful VMW AWOS version 1 um, and some new extra bits and pieces. Um, if you don't know what AWOS is, it's basically a rewrite of the Amiga operating system. If you don't remember what the Amiga operating system was, well, imagine multitasking before when Windows 3.1 was out. Um, sound graphics that basically kicked Windows and the Mac up the arse. Um, I was involved in Amigas quite some time. Pretty passionate about it, just to prove it. There's my A1000. Yeah, still got it. Um, but unfortunately nowadays I develop for Windows. I uh, have to pay the bills. Um, so here we go, let's show you some stuff. Right, uh, you'll probably recognize this. Um, nice windows. Uh, let's open up some control panels, screen modes, um, locale. There you go, some nice pretty windows. Um, let's show you some instant demos. Right, I mean, the Amiga was always brilliant at multitasking. There you go, lots and lots of things at the same time. How about some more? Um, this is some serious processing. As you can see, this is in 3D. Uh, this is an awful lot going on. I'd, I'd love to see people do this on the on Windows. I'm not saying it couldn't, but um, uh, it's really efficient. The thing about AWOS is it will run on slow hardware really fast. Um, and the other thing is if you want a word processor, it might be a couple of 100K, 500K instead of 200 megabytes. Um, I think that AWOS, when this gradually gets to the end of its development cycle for the, the, the final version, I think people are going to be really shocked and surprised. Um, Linux is a great operating system, but it's still got it made itself really heavy. Um, whereas uh, this is very, very lightweight and efficient, and I think people are going to see this. Right, so let's close a few of these down before I start preaching too much. Um, and I and I and I have got a bit of history with the Amiga, as some people out there know, um, and I've come back into it um, just recently, so I'm really loving it. Uh, right, let's show some interesting programs. Okay, Luna Paint. Um, it's a bit like um, T cross between TV Paint and uh, Photogenics, which was written by a friend of mine, Paul. Um, Let's uh, quickly, I'll just show you, quickly load an image and I'm going to just grab a chunk of it and I'm going to paste it with opacity into another image just so you can see how easy it is to work with. Now you notice how fast all this is happening. Okay, I, I, I'm going to mention this a few times but I'd like to see you do this stuff as quick within Windows because I mean, I've actually got Windows on this machine and I have a drive, and I've got to be honest, it sucks. It's, it, it, I mean, considering it's a really fast machine with tons of RAM. There you go. Right. So there you go, so that's done there. Now we'll close that down. Now, if you, that was a 24 bit paint program, but if you want a 256 color paint program, we've got one here, which is supposedly. Um, a D-Paint clone, but it's nothing like D-Paint. Um, it's very, very good. Um, I, you know, I think it's uh, anyone who thinks it's as good as D-Paint, obviously never used D-Paint. Um, but having said that, um, it's probably the best native paint program on AROS. There we go. Now, if you don't recognise this image. You obviously don't know anything about Amigas, so that's for the Amiga boys. Um, sadly, um, the guy who um, did this graphics, Jim Sash, has died. Great loss. Um, okay, so now we'll show you. Now, there are many. Uh, oh, let's show you some games first of all. I'm not a big games fan, but there you go. Quake. There's Quake. Uh, for those that don't like Quake, there's chess, there's a whole lot of games on here, um, but I'm not really interested in that. Um, for those guys who want um, internet, obviously, now this is a quite an early um, web browser, it's really a test for a kit. Um, I'll give you a quick 
look at this. Oh, BBs. Now, it's quite slow, but I'm mean, on this fast hardware, it's not too bad. Let's square that up a bit. Be there in a second. It's not, to be honest, it's not probably that usable, but it's um, it, it, it does work and it's quite a good little experiment. However, there's a um, uh, good browser being written. We hope it's going to be ready by March, so which will change things completely. Um, now, if this uh, they haven't got the applications that you need on here, which again we've got lots of development tools, there's editors, there's all kinds of software. For, oh, before I move on, let me show you the uh, music software now for. The Amiga guys, um, who might remember what mods are, before we had 16-bit samplers and all the uh, other kind of stuff, um, the Amiga was the first one to have four voices and it could play four samples at the same time. So mods were created which took those samples and put them into a music format. Um, this is a modern version of that idea. Um, and I've just got this working and I'm really pleased with this because this is going to hopefully play all my old Amiga tracks there you go, how about that, mod music um, however, I've got to be honest most of you probably haven't got a clue what that is uh, unless of course you, do, you know about Amigas and you're more likely to have listened to MP3s so of course there's an MP3 player built in and we'll stick that in the background for a minute um, now while that's playing uh, if you haven't got the applications that you want which a lot of the case at the moment let's turn that down right we've got a full full Amiga emulator so we can run all the old Amiga applications in Amy Bridge so now I'll just set a couple of flags, change a couple of memory settings, and we'll start this. Now, this is obviously multitasking with <clears throat> with the music playing in the background. So now, here we have an Amiga, and this is a proper 68,000 emulated Amiga. <clears throat> Let's give you an idea, show you some Amiga animations. I've got one here, so hopefully some of you will remember this, it's called Cry, so that's that, but if you want to run for example a, a word processor, we've got a nice one here, if I can find it under software, final writer, there you go, word processor, or Hopefully some of you remember this, if you want some, um, there you go, remember this, fantastic, I did this professionally, I use this a lot, there you go, Scala, Scala run, now if you've got um, uh, one of the proper graphics cards that are supported um, with AROS, this will run full screen. Unfortunately, I've not got one of those cards in set up at the moment, so so that's that. Okay, now I'm going to quickly just show you the videos, the video player. And this is using a um, player called M Player, which has come from Morphos. I believe it has. Anyway, it might have come from somewhere else and then been ported across, but basically, the source come from there. Um, and this is really powerful. Uh, Okay. And we can go full screen. No, let's see. Let's see what happens if we run all these demos at the same time. How about that? There you go. So, 
animation, video, you name it, AROS does it, and Amiga as well. Seems good to me. Cheers.